Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life-changing challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, Put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. On this very wet and windy day I am in the Maison de Maitre. Now I have a little confession I haven't been in here for probably two and a half, three weeks um, since I last did my video telling you what the plans were for this library snooker room. And what I've done, I've come in here today to kind of clear this room out of mirrors and anything that's really on the floor in here, like pipe work and things. Um, because my next step is going to be to get in the scaffolding and then start taking down the last of the wallpaper. So where I've come into the first room of the Maison de Maitre this morning, um, Nick's moved a desk out of the, we're going to call it the dining room, the temporary dining room. So where he's moved this desk out of the dining room, he's moved it into the kitchen area or the future kitchen area. I get a little annoyed at times that things get spread out. Fair enough, yes, I understand it's a building site, but in my mind, things go with other things. So when I come round hit it and I see chunks of plastic that could go in the bin bag next to it, like, what, what, what is this? Like, honestly, we could just have 10 minutes a day of clearing up and we'd find things, Mr Butcher. Yes, this is addressed to you. I am being the moaning wife and I am going to clean this. And I am fed up of cleaning up and organising. Um, me and my dad, we were looking for a hammer last week. We couldn't find this hammer because somebody goes and puts things down and then walks away. <laughs> God. I can understand it's daunting because you look at it and you kind of think, well, where, where do I begin? But the last time I did this, I even labelled everything. Grey plumbing stuff, drill bits, hand tools, screwdrivers, clampy things, clippy bits, round cutting stuff, plumbing. And, you know, it just... Why? And then I'll give you another look at another room, which is really bothering me. Like, look, yes, there's wires there, but it's like, why, why, it's just... I'm gonna stop complaining for now. <laughs> and I'm gonna put on some really nice rap music. And I'm gonna clean this. So this morning I've been fitting the basin and unit, um, although I got so far and I actually I need some, some wave pipe connectors so it's not connected up or anything at the moment but it, it looks good. Um, so I can't work on that today. Um, so I've been fitting the radiator which is a, a heated towel rail, simply four screws, I've got it on the wall and now I just need to up the wiring so 
it's sad. All coming together. have it. Heated tower well, all wired in. Um, as soon as we get electricity connected to the building then uh, we'll be able to test that, make sure it's working properly. Uh, what else can I do in here now? Oh I've got a socket to wire in over there so I'll go and do that next. Please with how that went. Again once we get electricity to the building, we can test it. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> so I may, I may have got a little bit carried away, but about three hours later, I, I, I'm happy now with the level of neatness and cleanliness. Here we go. We have what will eventually be the kitchen, but look. Look at that over there, everything pretty much in one corner. All the electrical cords are wrapped around the appliances neatly. Everything goes with other things. Oh, it's a work of art. Floor's been hoovered, cleaned the fire out a little bit. Paint tins go with other paint tins. Magnificent. Through in the in between -y bit, everything's been swept and hoovered. Uh, things go with other things, like all of the electric cables are currently in the fire, <laughs> or the fire area. Uh, I've even gone right through down the bottom to the other area and swept all in there. So it's lovely and clean. It's lovely and clean! <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> yeah, good job. Yeah? yeah? Thanks. Thanks for coming. Seven, uh, seven out of ten for that. Yeah, seven out of ten? Yeah? Thanks for turning up. In the dining room area, I've pretty much cleared... Oh, five children. We have Sharky, the toy. Sharky is now in the house for entertainment. Hey! Play the shark! As I was just saying before I was interrupted by uh, Merlo and Sharky, um, this room is now pretty much clear. Um, I have left in here a dog bed so that the fur children can come and keep me company as I take down wallpaper. I've also left the table over here. Merlo! <laughs> I've also left the table over here <laughs> with some of the electric stuff to go in this room still. Thanks. I've got the wallpaper steamer in here ready to go. Um, I'm just going to go and find all of the scraping tools I'm going to need. I'm going to go and find all of the sanding tools I'm going to need. And the big one, I'm going to get Nick to actually help me bring the scaffolding in here because I think rather than going up and down ladders, it's probably going to be a lot nicer for me to do some of these ceilings where they're three metres high. I don't, I don't really like ladders anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather stand on a platform, especially when it involves holding something like a, a boiling thing of water to get wallpaper off the walls. I have been given instructions on how to use the wallpaper stripper and I have my extension cord already set up. I also have da, 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 the scaffolding tower behind me all built by Mr Butcher so it should be sturdy. We've both said, if I fall, it's not that far to fall, and he can work out how to cook Christmas dinner via watching YouTube. I also have the ladder ready to get up onto the scaffolding tower. Um, I feel like I've had a productive day today. Yep, yeah, ready for tomorrow. Bring it on. Well, it is actually 
during the day um, but it's really grim out there it's raining but it doesn't matter because I'm in here again I've uh, had a quick tidy up and moved everything down to that end to give me a bit of space to work because I've got this contraption which is the plasterboard lifter as you can see it's uh, lifting some plasterboard but the idea will be to lift it all the way up to the joists up there um, and then it can hold it in place while I um, screw it up and let's hope that's not too literal um, so thank you father-in-law for the lend of your plasterboard lifter I worked out how to make it all go together I think fine um, I've got some lighting in here because it's so grim outside um, I've got my coffee at the ready somewhere over here I've got the screws oh, I'll find them in a minute oh there they are got the plasterboard screws got my drill so how hard can it be well the first problem I need to overcome is that some of these beams are not at the same height so I've worked out with this one I'll need to fix something like that along there just to bring that down a bit um, anyway as I go along I can work out if there's any others I think that one will need a bit packing again but uh, anyway so that's today's task I, I'm going to start this now and see where I end up I'm happy the plasterboard is staying up on the ceiling Ooh. Um, there's one beam that is lower than all the others and it's noticeable along the wall where it curves um, If that's as bad as it gets, I can live with it. I don't know. So we're ready for a new day, aren't we, Flora May? Yes. Uh, I'm in here, I have my wallpaper, scraper, heaty thingy going bubbling away. I have, I have my wonderful dachshund and my wonderful min pin. Yes. Anyway, come on kids, let's get to it. Nicely. Time for the next bit. Well, I've got two sheets up now. It's already making it feel much more like a room in here. Um, they're not perfectly level, but I think think they're close enough if those of you that watched the one of the early episodes on our channel you saw Claire taking down the original ceiling that was lath and plaster so with that kind of ceiling you can get over undulations just by putting a, a finishing coat of plaster on smooth um, so it's not quite as easy to hide that with plasterboard
around the room, aren't I? And what am I doing? It's dripping. <laughs> <laughs> For free. And the wallpaper. <laughs> For free. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to say making progress. You're the you're the smutty one today. <laughs> Better go make him lunch. <laughs> I think with all of the stripping uh, stripping things, I think I'm going to make you some tuna. screw that one up I'm going to get it out of the way and just chop some rolls of insulation up there um, it'll be easier to kind of work as I go with that I think off even though I've been up here do, 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 do. but this is where I've got to today I've got from around the door wall one wall two all clean now I'm calling it quits for today because I've had enough of being up the scaffolding tower and wobbling um, well, well now I've got good thickness of insulation here I'll carry on putting the boards up and we'll work my way along. Oh, getting warm in here. Right, well, I've got several sheets of plasterboard up on the ceiling now. Um, well over the halfway point. So I'm pleased with how it's gone today. Got some insulation up there as well. So um, yeah, uh, ready to stop now and uh, start again fresh as can be in the morning. Well, I'm back in the Jeep and um, well, last night I, I left everything so I could continue doing the plasterboarding this morning. But before I get on and do that, I've remembered there's a few um, connections that I need to make, predominantly for, for ceiling lighting. And I think that I'm going to get that wiring done before I block it off down here. Because there's generally along the, the front wall there just above the ceiling, which I will be able to access afterwards by going up through a loft hatch that I need to put in somewhere, uh, which will enable me to get up there, but it will be me walking along on the joist and one foot wrong and I'm through the ceiling. So anyway, it's going to be easier if I do it from down here before I block it all off. Um, so yeah. Well, I just wired in a couple of sockets and switches and the light switch for the bedroom lights. I've just been thinking about where to put the bedroom lights and um, obviously in the ceiling, but uh, I've just marked out some places. So now I can get the wires to there, get the transformers um, wired in. Um, so once it's all decorated, I can then just fit the light fittings and clip them in to the transformers and that'll be that job done. It's been tricky. 
So now we can have the power washer back, now the ban has been lifted. Um, this afternoon Nick was going to try and wash down some of this mud off of the yard. Um, so, so he can get on with his stuff. I've said, well look, I'll, I'll try and power wash this, even though <laughs> he's just over there. Even though personally, I, I can understand, yeah, let's get the mud down. But I actually think that this is a bit pointless because it's just going to come back. Um, it's kind of like there's a saying that springs to mind and I will do this in such a polite way. Urinating into the wind. But we're going to give it a go. Mud. Mud be gone. Just bear in mind that by now I was actually hoping to have all of the wallpaper off of the room. But I actually think that this exercise is trying to distract me from something that's going to happen this week. So you saw my day of cleaning up all of the tools and all, everything in the big house. So I've discovered something else that I haven't seen for a while because, and again, this is why we can't find everything. Look, this used to be a clean table. The whole of this outside storage area is now just a dumping ground. And I think this is why he's trying to distract me so I don't come in here and clean it. But, it, so don't think, I don't know what you're trying to do, Mr. Butcher. I'm gonna power wash this and then I'm gonna sort my stuff out. Well, I'm going really high tech now just to make sure I get all the lights in a straight line. I'm using a bit of string. for when I get the plasterboard up there. So I've got those four lights now riding together. Um, I've just got to connect them all together up there. Then I can go and get insulation, get that up in place and half rolled out and then get the next um, sheet of plasterboard up. Whee! It is slightly less muddy now. Um, while I've got the power washer out, I'm just going to have a blitz over this barn as well because it's out, it's plugged in, I may as well. Um, it's frustrating because there is a lot of mud just in this area where it's not been uh, gravelled yet. But we don't want to gravel it yet until all the work is finished with the swimming pool and landscaping around the swimming pool. So... I think what I've done today is like one step forward, one step backwards. Um, this area of the yard is a little bit of a bone of contention for both of us, shall we say. Um, last year, before Nick's parents came, Nick spent probably about two, two weeks um, coming out here every day for a couple of hours, just trying to power wash this side of the yard just to get the mud down. Now... It was really heartbreaking in the end and this is no one's fault. Nobody was meant to know. Um, but Nick's mum got here, she got out of the car and the first thing she said was, it's muddy. And it kind of, it, I think it broke us both a little bit because it was so much more muddy before we started. So even if at the moment it's just trying to keep the mud down, yeah, I guess it's something... Um, there's still more trucks and things that need to come in and we need to do more stuff with in the back garden where the pool is but it's done for now i'm so muddy <laughs> well the next bit of plasterboard is going to go up just perfectly however i want to put in a loft hatch before I put that up, I want to put in, I've got the obviously beams going one way, I want to screw some cross things in so I can build a 
frame um, for the hatch to, to fit in and around. So do that and then I'll put the blast board up. Well, despite all odds, I did get another bit of plasterboard up. And in fact, that is the last full-size sheet I'm going to be putting up. I've still got this narrow row to finish off. Um, before I do that, I want to tuck a bit more insulation along the edge of the wall here. So, plenty more to get on with, but <laughs> I've got two-thirds of the ceiling up. Woo-woo! <laughs> What's the matter? I, I just <laughs> no. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> when when how <laughs> how when <laughs> when power washing in the rain, always make sure that the plug. It's covered. <laughs> what have you done? I believed I could fly. <laughs> I went to pull the plug out and I went a bit jumpy. <laughs> Can I come in? It's raining. <laughs> I am mud, but however, I think that this does go to show that you can polish a turd. Why? <laughs> Look at me. Isn't that just something sexy? <laughs> Today we are out and about and we are on the move, aren't we? We are on the move. We are on the move. <laughs> we are actually helping today to move our next door neighbour um, from his house that he's just sold to his new house which is about an hour and a half away so yeah we're uh, taking a day off to help move someone aren't we we are we've had enough of moving for a while now i think have you, have you? i don't want to move anywhere for a while well, yeah yeah we're staying put for a while but there's some there's some very nice scenery And today I'm hoping to finish off taking the rest of the wallpaper off in this room. There's not a lot left, it's just where these patches of walls, where they're drier and where they don't have as much damp in them, the wallpaper's really stuck to them. Um, whoever used glue in here, use some really good glue. Hands up to you, wherever you are. Today I'm going to start by putting in the fourth of the down lights that we're going to have in here and again I'm using yeah, the bit of string to get it all in a line. Alright, get that done. All done. Um, so next I'm going to work on the kitchen lighting. Up. Cut the hole for the loft hatch, as you can see in the plasterboard. I will have to edge it and make it all pretty um, and make a hatch. Uh, but anyway, um, I will crack on now with the wiring. Hey! I'm at the stage now where I just need a bit of a hand taking a curtain pole down, and then I've 
just about finished in that room for today. Um, although I'm looking for my husband. He's meant to be in his little building where he lives at the moment. I keep him locked out here. It's safer for everyone. But I don't think he's there. Now, I've got a feeling that he's stopped and he's gone to watch Prime Minister's Question Time. Hmm. Let's see if I'm right. I knew it. What are you doing? Catching up on current affairs. I had a feeling you'd be doing this. There's only 35 days and three hours until my mother-in-law arrives. Right, well I've just put some insulation along that line there. So now I'm going to fit, I've cut to the right width I hope. I'm going to fit one more little bit of plasterboard up there tonight, which will leave me a couple to finish off tomorrow. Back in the temporary dining room this morning and I've asked Mr B for some help. Um, in some of the rooms they still have what looks like the original curtain rails. So we're just kind of working out whether this one can work and be used again. What do you think? Do you think it can be saved or...? Uh, oh. um, yeah, good job. Bit grubby, it do a good clean. Um, probably a bit of oil on there because. Uh... <laughs> but uh, yeah, we seem to work. Super. Well, we'll give it a go. If you could, uh, if you could bring her down, matey boy, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Every day should be National Talk Like a Pirate Day. Not that it is today, but. <laughs> But to do that, you know what you need? What? Rum. <laughs> <laughs> Rum. <laughs> I've now finished all of my D wallpaper in this room, and it's now on to you for the electrics. Yay! <laughs> right, time to get on in the morning now and. Uh... Get the last couple of bits of plasterboard up. Uh, I have decided to do that job that I spoke about earlier in the week. This one. This workshop. It's not really a workshop, it's more of a storage area. Uh, dumping ground. So let's de-dump this dumping ground today. I think the word that I'm looking for rather than de-dump is organise. Uh, some of this is rubbish and some of it is not. So here is our official before. two hours in and I think I'm starting to see kind of like the light from somewhere <laughs> at the end of the tunnel here um yeah I'm kind of just grouping things together and putting things in piles with other things which would be logical um we like keeping empty boxes I don't know why um it's also really interesting because the previous people who run this house obviously like keeping empty boxes too, but of the wooden variety. I'm just 
stacking them up for another day but there's loads of drawers and there's loads of like little boxes that have been all segregated into really unusual things like this which is obviously for storage or something like that I would imagine this one's quite cool it looks like something like Nutribreast prunes produce of USA if you'd have eaten that box of prunes, you would have been in some trouble. <laughs> well, there we go, Mella, and some horns down here from something as well. Ladies and gents, you know that box that's somewhere in your house? It could be in the attic, it could be in the garage, it could be under the stairs in a cupboard. Well, I'm going to talk to you about that now. You know how you nag your other half and you go, do you really need this box? And the box is full of wires and the wires could be from anything. And you can't sort it because you're not sure where the wires come from. It could be an old hi-fi that you owned, that you need a connector cable for. It could be an HDMI cable for something that doesn't even exist anymore. But for some reason, your other half still keeps the wires. Now, after years of going, oh, can you just sort out this box full of wires? It never happened. So I encourage anyone sort out that box of wires today. Otherwise, when you move, the box moves with you. And in our case, it can even move countries. So I now have wire corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven boxes of wires. Don't know what any of them are for, but we have them. Just in case you need a wire for something that you haven't had for many years. Well, I've now finished and this is my carload of rubbish to go to the tip just from this one room. About five and a half, six hours later and I'm finally done. It's not perfect, there's still spider webs. Um, although I've not, I think I've only seen one spider, which is quite ooh, weird. Um, Everything kind of is with everything else, which is brilliant because you can find it unless you come in here and muddle it up. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased. Just excuse the doggies. They're just uh, they're just hanging around on one of their spare beds. I've used all of this shelving unit and I've packed it full of everything that was roaming around the room. I've got a table there with all of the paint on that we have so far. Moved everything around the room, pushed it back, binned everything that we don't need, and there's loads more room for activities. Floor's clean, yeah. And the great thing, everything that's come out of this room that's rubbish, that's now in the back of my car, means one thing. Oh, a trip to the Chattery next week. Oh, a trip to the tip, yay. Well, making progress. So, now. I've got the last of the normal ceiling done, um, so we're going to have a, need to make a loft hatch for there, um, but otherwise it's all done all the way down here, with the exception of this little area here that I need to work on to make room for the air conditioning unit to fit, um, but apart from that, the ceiling is up so well, it's obviously not finished um the next job will be to go around as i did with the bathroom walls fill all the screw holes with filler and tape and joint all the joints and especially where the uh the ceiling and the walls meet um so that's a job to do but Look at what I've done! Yay! Yeah. 
it's the end of the week and I've just come out to the front uh, the front garden of the Maison de Maitre. Um, and you remember a while ago, I planted all along here with bulbs ready for next year. And I'm a little surprised because I came over here and I looked at this patch and loads of things are actually already starting to pop up. Look, there's, there's green shoots of things starting to appear everywhere. And something even more shocking is I've actually had something that's flowered. You can see in this corner more green shoots of everything that's popping up. And then look, some irises I planted, they're, they're all kind of coming up. How incredibly amazing. One. Hi. Hi, welcome to Wine, Wine of, of the, the week. week, where we have wine again wine and this wine was seven euros 90 from a local i call it the, the kind of nearest equivalent to a farm shop really yeah well it's a it's a, a red from the uh this appellation called saint nicholas de bourgerie we've had wine from there before not this particular silver medal winning wine but uh, we're going to give it a go and it should be really quite pleasant. Give it a go. Give it a go. Good. Oh, what a week of progress. Definitely, what a week of progress. And cleaning and mud cleaning and wallpapering and ceiling and... <laughs> so, uh, well, I've put a ceiling up. <laughs> you, you did really well. Thank you. <laughs> and, and the really good thing is it's still up there. I've literally just come in from having a look just to make sure. And uh, yeah, it's up there. So Good. That's what normally ceilings are, up there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, if you've enjoyed this week's episode, please click the like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, you can do so. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Or if you want to know even more, you can find out more at our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com. Ready, ready, ready. We love that noise. <laughs> so, uh, well, normally you let wines breathe, but we don't seem to in this house. No, no. We can breathe in the glass. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> it's enough breathing for now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, not me on the wine. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Anyway. <laughs> mm. Mm, cherry. Mm. Cheers. And cheers to a productive cheers. week. That is really nice. Seven ninety a bottle, so not over the top. <laughs> Thirsty. <laughs> Hello, Merlo. It's been a hard week. <laughs> right. Well, I'll uh, let you go because uh, I'm going to go off and have a more of this wine. So you can probably hear our oven in the background because I'm just about cooking dinner. So uh, yeah. yeah. Cheers, and we will see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.